Hello and welcome back to the S Pro video channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the comprehensive range of PTZs S Pro offers. We'll go over what PTZs are and how they work, as well as showing how to set up tours and how to set up alarm tracking on the cameras in the range that allow for it. We'll also touch on why you might choose an alarm tracking camera instead of an auto tracking camera and even look at one specific PTZ where there is no minimum ceiling height required, meaning it can be installed in locations not typically suitable for a PTZ. Let's get started. So what are PTZs? Well, PTZ stands for pan, tilt and zoom, and this refers to the various different ways these cameras can be moved around. Pan refers to the horizontal movement, tilt is the vertical movement, and the zoom relates to the optical zoom these cameras use to move in closer to a target without the pixelation experienced when digitally zooming into recordings from standard cameras. These functions can be controlled remotely if being monitored live, or you can set up predefined points that the PTZ travels to sequentially. This is known as a tour, something we're going to show you how to set up a little later on. S Pro offer a number of different PTZs from a two megapixel 12 times flush mount to a more standard style 25 times zoom, which is available in two, four and eight megapixel. And finally, the style I alluded to earlier, which can be fitted in the conventional way, or as you can see it here, making it suitable for a number of non-conventional applications, even low ceiling environments, which would not normally allow for a PTZ. The optical zoom of all PTZs is made possible by the motorized lens. And as you might expect, these cameras all boast an impressive IR range of up to 150 meters to help ensure there is IR no matter where you put the PTZ. If you pick one of these alarm tracking and AI compatible PTZs, you'll get all of the artificial intelligence features people expect from S Pro, like smart motion detection, IVS and face detection. You will need to web browse into the PTZ to change the configuration and to set up presets and tours. Once your PTZ is connected to your recorder, go from the main menu to network, TCP IP, and you'll be able to see the IP address of the recorder here. Once we've obtained these details from the recorder and entered them into the web browser, we should then be presented with this screen where we'll enter the admin and password details for the recorder and click login. Once we're logged in, we'll go into setting in the top left corner and then down to camera. We're going to click the blue Internet Explorer symbol next to the camera we want to log into. And at this point, you'll be asked to enter your username and password for a second time. And we'll click login. You should then see a menu that looks like this. From here, you'll find that you can control the PTZ using the inbuilt controls, moving horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. You'll also find you can zoom into specific areas for a closer look, as well as obviously then zoom back out. Whilst there is autofocus, you can override it and change the focus using the manual plus and minus here if you can see it's necessary. This is the same as with the iris, which is also automatic, but you can manually override if you can see it needs to be letting in more or less light. When you're ready to begin setting the preset locations for a tour, you will need to go to setting, PTZ and function. Ensure the preset option is selected, then position the camera where you want the first preset location to be and click add and save. For multiple presets, go to where you want the next preset and click add and save again, and repeat this process for any additional presets. Now at this point, we've only marked the preset points we're interested in the camera moving to. The next step is to instruct the PTZ to move to each of these points one after the other. We'll do this by setting up a tour. Go to tour and add the tour at the top and you'll then click add in the box at the bottom as well. Here you're adding which of the presets you want to tour. What you can do is add all the presets you'll need for each location and then set up a tour of each of these points by selecting in which order you want the PTZ to visit them from the drop down menu. 
You can also set the duration of time the PTZ stays on each point, as well as the speed at which it moves there. And don't forget to click save when you're done. If you want to view the tour, you can click start and it will go on a tour through the preset locations. You may also want to look at the idle motion setting. Idle motion is how long the PTZ takes to revert back to its tour after being interrupted by manual control or alarm tracking. Make sure tour is selected and that you've specified which tour you want to define the idle motion time for from the drop down menu. Select enable and save. Now we've mentioned alarm tracking a couple of times at this point. Alarm tracking is when you're using a form of IVS such as a tripwire or intrusion area to define where you want the PTZ to begin tracking a target so that the alarm tracking will only start when this IVS is triggered. And this is why you might choose alarm tracking over another technology like auto tracking because auto tracking is based on detecting movement. This means it can end up tracking movement in areas that are of no consequence. But with alarm tracking, you're literally defining the area you're interested in. So if you're looking to set up alarm tracking for a PTZ, go to event on the left hand side and smart plan. Click add plan, add all the presets and switch on the light bulb icon named deep IVS for each one and then click save. You're then going to want to go to deep IVS here on the left, click the plus symbol and select the rule type from the drop down. For alarm tracking, you'd want either tripwire or intrusion and click draw rule and you'll be able to define the rule on the image. For demo purposes, we'll draw a tripwire here and you've got all the usual IVS settings here so you can also set the direction a target would need to cross in order for it to trigger. You can define the track time, which as the name suggests, is the amount of time the PTZ would track the target once the trip wire is crossed. You can also filter targets to ensure that it's only humans or vehicles or humans and vehicles that you're concerned with and click save. We can set up multiple trip wires by selecting the third preset, for example, from the drop down at the top and repeating the same process. The tour we've set up will now be interrupted when someone crosses any of those trip wires and the PTZ will track that person's movements. If we go to the live view by clicking the live tab at the top, you will need to prompt the PTZ to start its tour. The quickest way to do this is to literally just move it slightly. It will lie inactive for the amount of time you previously defined and then start its tour. Let's now take a look at how the PTZ's alarm tracking reacts to a pedestrian crossing one of the trip wires. As you can see, as the pedestrian crosses the first trip wire, it begins tracking them. And you'll notice that the other trip wires disappear from view. This is because the PTZ's current activity of tracking the target pedestrian overrides these. Its only concern at the moment is tracking that target for the time we defined. It will then revert back to the last position in its tour. So hopefully that gives you a general idea of what PTZs are capable of when coupled with alarm tracking and AI. However, I do want to dwell a little bit more on one PTZ in particular, what's known as a positioning PTZ. Now, this PTZ has all the same features that we've just demonstrated, but it has the added advantage of this unique form factor with its short height and ability to be used as it sits here. This means it can be used in more confined spaces because it doesn't need to have the same amount of space or be mounted at the same height a standard PTZ would require. You should now have a good idea of the PTZ range S-Pro has to offer with its different styles, suitability for different applications and their variations of specification and features. We also showed how TORS and alarm tracking works, a feature I highly recommend implementing for any system where PTZs are required as they automate monitoring and ensure targets are only tracked within areas of importance. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from us here at S-Pro.